Thanks for joining me. Not at all, pal. I'm going to start with, anyway, first of all, uh, what's it like uh, being retired now, being like a uh, scrap heap like me? Yeah, well, it, it's still early, early doors. I mean, I'm only a few, few months into my retirement. I, I guess I do miss when, when the boys run out, that thrill of, uh, you know, running onto a pitch to a, to a screaming crowd. I, I don't miss the injuries. Yeah. I don't miss training in the rain. I don't miss waking up the day after a game. So uh, at the was moment, was it frustrating for you though that you had to retire because of an injury, or was it your intention to play for another couple of years? Yeah, sure it is. But uh, you know, as you know, it's part of the game, and sometimes we uh, we don't get to choose our exit, and um, that was mine. Now it's been suggested that we might be in for something very, very special and quite unique. Yeah, well, I, I thought I'd, I'd seen a lot in, in world rugby, having played for the All Blacks for a few years and, and Super Rugby for a few years, but uh, I just wasn't prepared for what I came, came to at Munster. Um, the history, the, the crowd support that they have. Uh, you know, I, I had five seasons with the team and, you know, uh, I'm, I'm happy to say they were, they were five of the, my most happiest uh, rugby years. Dougie, tell us a little bit about Joe Schmidt. You worked in, in, under him in the Auckland Blues. Uh, what does he bring to the Irish setup? Yeah, I was uh, fortunate to work with Joe at, at the Blues uh, a few years back, and um, I think it's, 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 it's been open in the press coming from Brian O'Driscoll that uh, he's probably learnt the most off uh, Joe Smith, and, and I'd uh, reiterate that. He's, uh, it seems to be that attention to detail that everyone's yeah, mentioned. It, it's all the, all the little things, and um, you know, I'm excited that, that he has the role, and I'm excited what, what he can do with the team. The current squad, what, what's, um, where do you think they rate or rank the former teams? I think Sean, Sean Fitzpatrick has been quoted this week as saying he thinks it could be one of the greatest all-black team ever. Uh, at the moment, they're, they're certainly a force to be reckoned with. Then uh, I'd say they wouldn't be far off in terms of looking at the results for the last year or two. In your view, if Ireland are, are to try and get a result or upset the All Blacks, where can they do that? Yeah, personally, there's always a chance of, of uh, you know beating the team you're playing against, and I don't think there'll be anyone in the Irish team that doesn't believe so. There's a, a few old heads there; they've got uh, you know limited opportunities to, to have this have this game. So uh, it's, it's a game I look forward to with uh, huge excitement.